Hey, can you tell me why 42 is free? No. Can you tell me how it works? No. No, I don't know. I'm sorry. Well, today, let's find out the answers. Ten years ago, in 2013, a group of French experts observed that um, there is a growing demand in software engineers, but not enough coming out of the educational system. So they came up with a very special place to address that need. A place that is super accessible, where everybody can apply that is talented and motivated without need of certification or any prior trainings and a place that uh, really puts learning first, that is student-centered. There's more than 4,000 students right now in Paris already, and the schools have spread across the globe. There's more than 40 schools internationally right now, and we're all learning together and promoting good software engineering worldwide. Studying at 42 Wolfsburg is free. What? We're partnering with a bunch of companies such as Volkswagen, Carriers, Capgemini, IT Systems, Microsoft, SAP and Bayer to provide you with a free platform to study with us. However, we're also reaching out to the broader tech community, to startups, academia, but also to nonprofits who come on campus, share their knowledge, give you a glimpse into practice. We hope to be providing you access to this great ecosystem to really kickstart your careers in tech. Peer learning is great because, well, first of all, you learn from each other's experience and maybe you will know something that somebody else doesn't. And uh, the other way around, one time you will be blocked on a project, on a problem, and somebody will know the answer and will help you with it. Well, in traditional universities, you will uh, learn a lot of theory, a lot of lessons that you have to memorize. Everything has to be learned by heart. That's not everything, especially in modern world where all the information is available especially online, on the internet. So you don't really have to learn all of it by heart. And it's quite passive. You don't really interact. You just get the knowledge. Here at 42, you will learn by doing. You will learn by experimenting and by talking with other people about their own experience. And that's how you will learn in a more active way. Peer learning will help you in your career later because, well, first of all, you will know how to work in teams. And regardless of the coding knowledge that you acquire, you will also learn a lot of soft skills. For example, being able to give feedback to people, to receive feedback, to also um, be self-organized, self-motivated. You will be able to also work uh, under time pressure. For most of you, it's going to be the first time that you're coding. Uh, it's going to be the first time that you're using a terminal. So it's normal that you start from scratch. You will start with shell. And then you will move to C language. And C is not the most used language in the corporate world. It's one of the first languages that was created. And um, every modern language has been built on top of it. By learning C, you learn everything that it takes uh, in terms of syntax, in terms of use cases that will be useful for any other language. And that's where companies will be super eager to hire you because you won't need a lot of time to get started on a new language. It will only take you a couple of weeks where with traditional learning, you would take a couple of months just to learn the language. So after successfully passing the PC, you will become a student at Fort 2 and uh, the first step is to join the core curriculum. Compared to the PC, that's more of a marathon that is longer and you have a more diverse set of projects. In total, you have 16 different projects and uh, with that you also have five exams, which makes a total of 21 projects to validate in your core curriculum. And regarding the skills, you will learn about C, obviously, uh, but you will also learn about networking, about DevOps, about administration. You will discover C++ language. And at the very end of the core, you will also have a big team project where you have to use a language that you've never used before. And that's the beauty of it, because at the end of the core curriculum, you realize that you're able to jump in on any other language that is not necessarily C. You get to know people that you would never meet uh, in a different setting. When it comes to my own experience, it made me realize that, well, first it's okay to fail. It's okay to know that you did something wrong, but uh, you're able to fix it and retry and then pass it. It's okay to get help when you're stuck on an exercise. It doesn't matter if that's the first time that you're using a computer. It doesn't matter if you've been a software engineer for ages. Um, 
it's all about the experience and it's all about getting the first step into coding and after that it's like riding a bike get used to it. The campus in itself is very open, very open plan. It's covered in glass, which reflects the openness from the inside. There is so many spaces to talk, to collaborate, to work with everyone. And it's like a TARDIS, so it looks bigger uh, on the inside than from the outside. The main features of 42 Wolfsburg's campus are uh, the two kitchens that we have. And we have these uh, community spaces that everyone can get together with their peers, with the staff. You can talk, you can chat, you can eat, you can code. We have so many computers available, so over 150 computers for you to code, for you to finish your projects. We have library spaces to work on projects and to study and collaborate. We have really amazing meeting rooms and we are open 24 seven. So you can make sure that you can come at 3 a.m. or 3 p.m., whichever fits your sleeping schedule. So what can I do after coding? You can play ping pong. We hold regular ping pong tournaments. There are movie nights with snacks. We even have a popcorn machine. You can retire to the library and pick a book to choose that is not anything to do with coding. You can read for fun, pretty much anything you want. The community of 42 Wolfsburg is really, really special and almost as unique as the campus. We have so many people from all over the world, I think about 50 nationalities, possibly even more. And that just makes us a big melting pot, a s'mores, s'mores board. How do you say this word? Smorgasbord? You know this word? No? Smorgasbord? We're a smorgasbord of culture and personalities and uh, different backgrounds, which means that you will always find someone you've never met before. And it just makes sure that the community and the company on site are diverse and brilliant and colorful and always changing. You will never find two people who are exactly the same. Uh, we also don't have twins yet on campus, so that could be why. My favorite spot in this building is in the big communal kitchen because you can sit and you can people watch. You can smell everyone cooking, you can eat your own food and you can see people in Wolfsburg, but you can always turn and see people coding in the building. I love it. You should come to Wolfsburg because the community will accept you with open arms. The community here is different because we all have one thing in common and that is we moved to Wolfsburg to be here. We have made the dedication to be here on site, to be in this wonderful campus and that bonds us together. And I think that's what makes it so special is the community builds itself, celebrates itself and we learn and we play together. My Pessin was an intense roller coaster of emotions. I didn't have any prior experience in coding and technology in general wasn't my greatest strength. So I was kind of afraid of what's waiting ahead of me. And then I started and it was intense because we were on site kind of the whole time. But there was not only cause we were coding, we also did karaoke, played Switch and so on. We just spent some quality time together and really enjoyed that adventure. In the beginning I was like, okay, I can't do that. I don't want to do that anymore because it was too too much for me, I guess, because I didn't have any prior experience. Um, and then a peer of mine said like, Leah, if we quit, we quit together. And in that moment I knew, okay, I'm not going to quit. Uh, so I learned to push through it and now I'm really happy that I'm actually allowed to be a student. The Pessine is mainly focusing on diving in coding and in C in general, but then the studies are more focused on rather general topics like, for example, not only C but also C++ in the end and TypeScript, so object-oriented programming languages. You also learn to set up your own virtual machine. That was very impressive for me personally. So the main difference is content-wise, I guess, and you still have more time if you join in the studies compared to the Piscine. Not only the Piscine, but also the studies are on site. That's because you can interact more properly with your peers. You can just stumble into them on the hallway or easily reach out to them. That's just not possible if you do it online. What did 42 actually teach me, except for coding and C and technology in general? It is mainly that you need to step out of your comfort zone. That's important to believe in yourself, just to give it a go. You never know what will happen. We strive to have happy software engineers, and that's your role. The selection process focuses not only on you approving your evaluations, exams and projects, but also becoming a student of 42 is becoming a mixture of how well you provide to the community and also your hard skills. Yes, we know that you might be worried. What happens if I fail my exam? What about the projects if I don't know how to do them? Yes, we look at your progress in that sense, but also the community is very, very important for us. And we really live by our values. Some of them are, for example, use tech for good, give and receive feedback, 
So for example, asking the right questions is very good. That will help others go through the same experience that you're going through. Another one is radical inclusion. That for us is very important because in this way, we get the freedom that everybody deserves to belong to a community. We also have to take ownership. If you are doing something, if you start creating an event or something to engage the community with you, take ownership of that. And you will see how many other people will be involved as well. So basically everybody can become a 42 student, at least as long as you're over 18. We believe everybody can code and that's why we don't ask for any qualifications or certificates prior to starting your journey here. All you have to do really is to follow our five-step journey um, to become a 42 student and we start uh, with the creation of an account on our application platform and then you have to play an online game that takes about two hours of your time. Once you've passed that, you will be admitted to an introduction meeting that can happen offline or on site where you can meet staff and students and they will introduce you to the curriculum, to uh, the campus, to the community and of course the piscine, which is the fourth and the most major step along your registration process. It's a four week long hands-on coding experience that really requires you to be on site. And if you're interested now how it actually looks and feels like to have just finished a piscine, let's take a look. I think like this was such a unique experience of a lifetime. I'm so happy I did it. The piscine has been really great. But it was incredible. <laughs> it was amazing. This is something that I will definitely remember for the rest of my life, uh, no matter what happens. Probably one of the most meaningful experiences that I've had in the past 10 years or so. Immense experience, a lot of stuff I've learned. I'm kind of sad for it to end now because I didn't yet like, go all the way, even though I developed myself so much during that time. I just really like to join the community and being evaluated by my peers is something new. I never experienced that before. And all of cool people I've met here. Exactly. It was eight hours. I never done something like that before, but it was cool. Yeah. And now we're going to have a party. I hope you found some answers to your questions in this video. And I personally really hope to see you on campus very soon.